Hey Shuby Doodlers, today I'm going to show you how to draw an airship and the draw stuff real easy way is to draw it gently in pencil first then ink on the top and then erase the pencil lines afterwards but let's not talk about it let's do it okay I'm going to draw a line that's right down the center of the airship um, and I'm doing it at an angle just to give it a bit of sort of dynamics really as if it's sort of coming into land or we're flying above it and looking down on it and um, and then we're going to want to come quite a kind of a sharp point there and and it's going to want to come sort of straight ish parallel here but then it wants to oops the car alarm went off the um, the dash cam fell off and set the alarm off right so we want to bring that in so it's quite quite sort of pointy but but round as well so we want to get this nice and round but then that's kind of parallel and straight and then it comes into this nice gentle bit at the end and then this is going to be a mishmash of different things but i'm going to have a kind of a goodyear gondola the little bit that you sit in underneath is called a gondola and then we want the sort of the pilot's window there and then little window it looks like a bus really doesn't it and then we're going to have like a propeller there and that'll be the engine and this will be the struts holding it on and um, we're also going to have a little engine at the back I think like that so the side fin is going to go kind of like that we're going to want a taller fin on the top which will come down like that we want a little sort of cut in there as well because that's kind of the steering part that moves and then we want a kind of smaller one it's just slightly smaller underneath like that and we can put a slight little curve there um or oh, we'll do a kind of a something like that no i don't like that we'll see how it goes <laughs> so i'm going to just take that all the way out there and down to the back and then we can stop right there so that to get a little bit of thickness here I'm not going to just draw a straight line like a straight angle I'm just going to draw that around the corner there a bit like that and then we'll bring it into there and we'll also probably want a line across there because that's the kind of the flaps or ailerons or tailerons do you call it? I don't know. <laughs> I think ailerons on the tail should be called tailerons, shouldn't they? Uh, and then I think that bit there is called a rudder because that will be steering sideways, won't it? And then we can bring this nicely around there. But stop when we get to this here because we're going to want to have the propeller cone there like that and then we're going to have the engine behind it and we're going to want struts holding it on and I'm just going to put little kind of lines in there and then we can draw the uh, the gondola in underneath now we can carry that line on all the way to the back and draw in the lower section of the rudder tail fin part like that when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase those pencil lines and what i'm going to do here is sort of stick a little kind of engine thing going on here and have just some sort of whirly propeller thing going on around there and then to get the feeling that you're slightly looking down on the, the gondola we need to sort of draw the window looking down like that and then we can draw the others the windows and then maybe we have a door like that and we can probably that's that's probably going to go around like something going on in there isn't it so we can have like passengers looking out of the windows I think we can have a little bit of shading underneath there and we're going to have a bit of shading underneath here too and we'll have a bit of shading coming in slightly curving around there like that and I think we we do need some kind of feeling of some marking down the body so I'm going to take that all the way down to the middle and 
that there as well. And then we actually need some marks to make it kind of look curved. So I'm going to put a, a mark in there. Going like that. And then maybe one up there. And that's a very sort of gentle line. And then that's pretty much going straight down the middle. And then I think we can add some shading underneath here which will give a bit of modeling to the whole thing and then we can probably draw some clouds draw some sort of balloon clouds like that and then if we draw little sort of shading bits on the edge of the cloud here and then we can draw sort of sky in the background here and I'm going to make that a bit more definite there we might then also have some kind of line painted on there, which just kind of brings it to life a bit, doesn't it? And I think these just need to kind of feel just a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to put a little bit of an extra line just dotted in there like that. And then maybe in there, just make that a bit thicker too. And then all I'm going to do is add a few little kind of whoosh marks to make it look like it's going in one direction and I'm not going to do any more. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, keep coming back to Draw Stuff Real Easy every week for lots more how to draw videos. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.